Sorry for messing with your Minecraft plans, Persebeth. But come on. It's brag. <laughs> I'm really glad to be back. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, really quickly, while I wait for more people to come in, I was in the middle of trying to, of going into the brag save and um, fixing up Copperdale. So I've got most of the lots down, but. <gasps> oh boy. I don't even quite remember, like, what, where we were at <laughs> in the last episode. <laughs> It's been so long since we played it. Um, okay. Let me add... Where is my house that I made? Ah, here we go. Yeah. Give me a second. I want to see... Okay. You, you actually came in at a perfect time, Persebeth, because... The, for whatever reason, um, OBS got disconnected, not only from my mic, which as we've seen happens quite often, but it also got disconnected from my regular, like, desktop audio. So, like, if you go back and watch the VOD, that's why for a bit there, then instead of having, like, the background music on the Be Right There screen, it was just quiet. It was because I was in OBS having to go through and fix it. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that one's done. And then I'll just drop uh, the derbies in there. And I have not gotten, I have not saved the other houses yet, like Harrison and Caro's. I actually haven't even done Caro's house yet. Um, like Harrison and uh, and McKinsey's houses, I haven't saved them, even though they are done. Aside from, I, I haven't saved them aside from pictures, and I haven't saved them because I haven't taken the pictures. But I did save this one. Um, so what so I'll I'll add those ones in later, but for now I'll put the derbies in. This is free real estate on. Move you guys in. And I will put y'all in separate house. Oh no. Wait a second, this isn't the right scene. <laughs> Hold on! This isn't this isn't the right save. Where's my other save? I must have I must have scrolled past it. Well that means I had dang it, that means I have to redo <laughs> Um Yeah, there it is. I didn't click on it because it's got the munches. Why would I do why would I click on one that has the munches on it? Alright, well we'll just delete this one. We don't need that one. Um yeah, Brag Legacy 2. Okay, let's make sure this is the correct scene. <laughs> Okay, this is it. This is it. We're good. Yeah, because Oliver, Chase, and Misty are both adults. And I'm guessing that when we load in, these two are going to be almost children. Which I do remember that's, that is what happened. But really quickly, I'm going to save as. Um, just in case the glitch has affected things. So you, can, you probably saw that I did that earlier. So we're going to do brag aging glitch. Just in case, just in case, you know, I don't, I want to make sure that this save keeps its integrity, you know. But that does mean that now Copperdale, <laughs> Copperdale is, is back to being this. Um, okay, that's fine. I'll do this in my off time when I do legacy maintenance, but I am going to put the restaurant down. But everything else I'll just, yeah, I'll just do it in my off time.
Okay, yeah. Change this later. Um, let's just go right into Brindleton Bay then. Okay, let's let's see where we left off. <laughs> where did we leave off here? Also, it looks like I'm being completely washed out again. I specifically checked my lighting to make sure that I wouldn't be completely washed out. My lighting's never good. I'm so pale. The single ring light is not sufficient for me. So I'm just always going to be kind of washed out, unfortunately. <sighs> okay. So today is New Year's Eve. Okay, cool. Um, good to know that it kept my holidays that I put on Friday. And then the twins' birthdays are tomorrow. Okay. Good to know, good to know. There they are. Are both of you happy toddler? You need to work a little bit on your imagination. And you need to work a little bit on your imagination and thinking. Okay, I'm just going to let everybody go. Okay. I was hoping. Here, why don't we just, uh, why don't we go give you a bubble bath? Why don't you come over here and play with dolls? Oh, gosh, no. That's, that's broken. Okay, great. Uh, why don't you come over here and play with toys? Play with Mr. Blue Bear, who's red. Do we not have- do I have free will turned off? No, autonomy is on full. What, what are you doing over there, Misty? You're just standing there. Can you get out? <gasps> Aurelius! I forgot about Aurelius. Hi, baby. Go brush and scratch his favorite spot and pet him. Brush. Oh, okay. So you're doing fine. August is about to be fine. And it is New Year's Eve. Okay, so we're still keeping with these traditions. Um, so we need to make resolutions. Party spirit. Let's get you to make a resolution. Get promoted, because you have one more level in your job. One more level. That's all you've got. In fact, let's try working on that. How about... Let's go in here and let's tend garden and let's super sell. You, sir, also need to make a resolution. So you, I'll give you lose weight. Hi, Aurelius. Oh my god. It looks like she's... Stop. Oh my god. This picture... This is so cute. Stop. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at my babies. Oh. Okay. Cutie patooties. <laughs> oh, Aurelius loves Edith. He's always coming. He, like, whenever Edith is in a room, he goes in there and hangs out with her. No plants need tending at the moment. Let's open this. 
Well, this blackened bass, you're hungry. So why don't you come grab a serving of that? Oliver Chase, can you come over here and clean this up? No, I'm not going to thrifty. No! What? <laughs> hey, Misty, that wasn't for you. Okay, you can have some French toast instead. It's okay, buddy. You can still come down. Okay, you are also getting hungry. So why don't you put the toy away and also come and grab a serving? Oh gosh, you're awesome. Why are you so tired? Here, come over here and get some leftovers when you're done with that. Sure, you can have some cake. I don't care. Probably not going to help your goal of losing weight, but it's fine. Okay, and now you need a little bit more imagination and a little bit more thinking. So why don't you come over here and study some shapes? Your sister <laughs> is gone outside and is now coming back in. Okay, for, what, for whatever reason, it seems like they're not doing things autonomously. Is that a new glitch too? Is that another one to look out for? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're over there. Why don't you come over here and talk to your bunny a couple times? That'd be cute. And Oliver Chase, you're really tired. So why don't you uh, why don't you come and nap a little bit? All right, Misty, let's get, and then Misty, we're going to get you researching. How close are you to luck maxing this skill? Oh my God, you're so close. You're so <laughs> close. Okay, August is thinking level three, which, and now he just needs a little bit more imagination. So let's go over here, play with toy, butterfly McButterfly face. Can you command Aurelius to chase these birds? Oh, there he goes. What you doing, buddy? Where are you taking him? Oh, he's taking him to Misty. Oh, cute. Wait, uh, wait, where'd they go? They're in the... They're in the snow. Task accomplished. I'm back. Hi, Persebeth. Oh, no, there they are. There they are. I found them. Let's open this. <laughs> Do we get anything new? We got a pigeon feather, a crow feather, and a blue jay feather. No. All of those are repeats. <laughs> now, if you guys recall, the only things Oliver Chase has left to do is complete his space print collection, of which he has one more moon print, and then he has to complete the feather collection as well. Don't sleep. Uh, yeah, I guess you can sleep a little bit. Um, but yeah, what are you? Oh, Edith, Edith went back to bed. Um, but yeah, all I'm, all that's really happened, uh, Persebeth, is I've been, I got Edith up to happy toddler range, so she's fine to age up, and then I was gonna get, I'm trying to get August there too. Um, and Misty is researching. Okay, you are now also there, so you can also go to sleep. Oh my gosh, Missy, you're so close. Oh. You're so close, girl. Please, I'm begging. There's a, I took a really cute, cute screenshot. I'll make sure to put it in. The, I'll, it'll be definitely be in the highlight reel. Oh my gosh, Missy, please. Click beeswax. 
Oh. Bond with the bees. Oh. Then research more. Oh. Right here, you know what? You know what we'll do? This might help be, be more helpful. Let's we'll see if there are any that we can fertilize. Oh, she needs fertilizer in her inventory. Okay, let me... Let me grab some flowers from her little flower bench. Yeah, so we have like 47 daisies. We can try and fertilize things with daisies. Let's see if this helps. Yes, okay. Okay, so fertilize with a daisy. Fertilize with a daisy. Fertilize with a daisy. Not research. This is the part where it would have been nice if we had a dog, because pet poop actually is really good for this. Is this actually getting her skill up? It should. We also have just a couple more um, flowers to get. And I can get most of them from uh, from a couple, from like the rare seed packet. No. Oh, we can evolve. Did that, did that not help at all? Just research, just research it a little bit more. Come on girl, just one more, just one, you're all, you've almost mastered it. Poor thing, the rest of her family is napping. So apparently, none of them got very good, much sleep last night. Okay, 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 okay. She's almost there. She's almost there. There's like a pixel left. Come on. Okay, we got it. Um. Use the bathroom and take a nap. <laughs> she also needs to get to level seven of charisma, and I think she's on she's on six. Okay, so she only needs one more level of charisma, and then she's done. Like Misty is done after that. Um, but let me go ahead and mark that she completed one of her things. So she has max of skill gardening. So all she has left to do is complete the florist career. Which she'll get a promotion the next time she goes into work now. Um, top of the floral designer career ladder. There, there it goes. Um, visionary of vases. Uh, here we go. Miss C has earned the respect and admiration of the flower arranging community. Continue to show off those artistic abilities by delivering and sharing arrangements to everyone. All right. Well, okay, cool. So all Miss C's got to do is, is, is get one more level in, in charisma and she is done. Um... Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Love that for us. Um, here, why don't you come over here and listen to... What music do you like? You like easy listening and retro? Well, let's listen to some retro then. Get some Sims 2 in here. I don't actually know much about Sims 2, Sims 2 music, so... <laughs> and then let's dance to it so we can get this party spirit up and then where's our decorations box is it somewhere outside I often put it outside no dance again so we can get another little tick to it there it goes is it upstairs no there is an attic up here by the way if I ever wanted to... Maybe I'll put Misty's crafting stuff in the attic. Oh, well, I don't mind if we don't have a decorations box, honestly. I'm thinking about taking de uh, de decorate off of, like, all of the holiday traditions. Just so that my community lots stop being perpetually in, uh, like, decorated. 
I don't know much of video game music because I almost never play games with sound on. I used to never play games with sound on, and then I started... Then I learned... Um... <laughs> hey, Lorraine. You... Yeah, sure. <laughs> um... Okay, I think I think that might be it. Um, but then I started studying game design in, in college, and uh, I'm not gonna say the joke. <laughs> and uh, I and specifically, I took a sound in games class, and I realized how important it is. And so now I always try and play with sound if I can. Can this please get like ticked off? <laughs> All right. Let's make, let's serve some dinner. Meatball tamale bites. That's one of the new things. Let's do some, um, I think minced pork noodles. Uh, found the back. Stitch can, no, it's not. Okay. Um, med cart? Doesn't tell me. So sweet potato, starch noodles, stored with vegetables. Uh, oh, okay, so here we go. So here's a Korean dish. Again, I don't know, because, <laughs> because uh, Oliver Chase was, um, because Oliver, uh, because Oliver Chase's mom was adopted, we don't know exactly what kind of East Asian he is, but I like to think that maybe Lila, like, Posey's side is Japanese, and Lila's side, since we have Korean things in the game, is, like, Korean, or at least partially Korean. The weird thing is that I love video game music, and I listen to it in my free time, but I, but I like having a TV show on in the background, usually. I've been trying to make exceptions for first-time playthroughs recently. Hey, Rachel. Yes! Have a baby! Oh, hello! Hello, husband! Look, I made you- I made you some yummy food. I made all of us some yummy food. Here, let's go over here and call to meal. Let's wake both of the kitties up. I do often put the spoiled French toast down and eat the food your wife made for you. Grab a serving. Okay, she's dirty. That's fine. Here, buddy, come over here and get some food. Oh, you've almost got it, girl. You've almost got it, girl. I do often like to have YouTube videos on in the background when I play games. It's true. I've been playing Meg Aquarium a lot recently. My my oh, current favorite game. Like that's the game. That's one of the games that I've been playing while um. Here, why don't you come over here and practice your speech? That is one of the games that I have been playing while uh, while I can't play Sims, as I've been playing Meg Aquarium. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> Although, actually... That that does kind of the fact that metal metal being on does kind of tie into something that I wanted to talk to talk to everyone about. Um, because we got some stuff to discuss about Edith. Uh, you know our our heir. We've gotta we've gotta start we've gotta start preparing for her her generation. Um, and then did everybody get some? I think everybody got some. Had a eureka moment. That's good. Um, but I want to wait until more people are here. Um, and if not many people are here today, then I'll just um, I'll just talk about it. We, we can talk about it. And, and isn't she's so cute? Um, we can just talk about it later. Also, why does the, these guys are so rich, but they only have one shower in the entire house? How did I let this happen? How did I let this happen? Because the ba this baby is stinky. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. It's your guys' birthday tomorrow. 
You guys have a birthday tomorrow. I'm probably gonna eat them up in the morning. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this for you. Because it's not even really going up that fast. Um, let's... Jesse, let's cook. Um... And let's get, let's make them a cake. Can we make them a rice cake? Uh, no, I didn't think that's what that looked like. Um, hey, you have a toilet. You're, you're already better than whoever did that one house in Del Sol Valley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what type of cake should we make for them? Hmm. A coconut cake might be nice. And I think that's the, we could do a, er, uh, hmm. Oh, I wish we could use a chocolate pie. A chocolate pie would probably be nice to have candles in it. Um, I can't look at meat pies. It makes me want a meat pie. Um, let's do... Sorry, I feel like there's a lot more stuff here. Last time I checked. Gonna redo that house, but the only difference is putting in a toilet. <laughs> I think the house needs a little bit more help than just the toilet situation. Uh, we'll do a coconut cake. This? Make another sim happy from being good. Oh, that's cute. All right. All right, buddy. You have got to give your child a bath. You gave August one this morning. You can give Edie one now. August, can you come and talk to your mom? Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to go in and, um, and give... Uh, Oliver, Chase, and Misty, their sexualities. That's something I've been excited to do. Okay, let's go ahead and add the birthday candles. Oh, he's talking about princesses. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's put that away. And then Misty, why don't you... Oh, med check. I actually need to take it. Look at this cute little, uh, I got myself a little rainbow medica uh, medicine holder. Um, I used to use one of these all the time when I was in high school. Um, and then I stopped. And I don't really know why. I, I think it's because I was just forgetting to use it. But using these is always really helpful for me because um, it, it lets me know, because it helps me not forget, for one thing, to take my medicine. But if I do forget, I know when I did and how often I did that week. So, who were helpful for me? I also got myself a little to-do list. Look at this. I'm a little embarrassed to show it, like, on camera, because a lot of the stuff in here is really basic stuff. But I have a lot of trouble remembering to do even basic daily tasks, like brushing my teeth. Um... <laughs> And like checking the cat litter and things like that. Um, it's just, I don't, I don't know why I've never been able, I've always been bad at it. When I had, when I was in like school and I had like math homework every day, I would always forget to do it because it just doesn't like, if it's like a long-term thing, like projects and stuff, I'm, I'm usually pretty good about those. So like if I, so like in college, I did really well because a lot of my college experience was just, um, was like these long-term projects and I'm really good at those because I'm good at like planning like managing my time and planning out when I need to get things done for a project but like simple math problems that that I have every single night in high school no chance uh-uh I just it just completely slipped my mind but anyway so I got this little to-do list to um but yeah, so I got the I got the little to do list to um to ha Ugh, let me take this off, Jeez Louise. I got, sorry, I got the to do list to help me um remember that like there are certain things that I should be doing every day, like taking my medicine and brushing my teeth, and um, practicing some kind of art, and you know exercising at least a little bit, things like that. Um, well, I didn't do homework because it was boring because Helen did nothing for me. Well, it was that too. It was also boring. Although homework did help sometimes. It, it did, especially in su subjects like math that I wasn't very good at. Um, but I did usually do big projects almost always the night before they were due, but I got them done. That, I gotta say, I got, I've got a lot of flaws 
I've got lots and lots of flaws. But one of them is not procrastination. I have never been a procrastinator. Oh, lava. Oh, oh, cute. Try for baby with Oliver Chase? No, I don't want to do that. So these are now the wants. But they're just the same as whims. I don't know why they changed them. They're li it looks like they're literally the same as whims. Alright, babies. Are you guys... Y'all are not tired. I should not have let them sleep. <laughs> that was my bad. Um, Oliver Chase, though. I'm glad I let you hang out. I want you to use the bathroom, and then I want you to repair the dollhouse. And you, ch you kiddos can do whatever you want. I don't, I don't really mind. So Oliver Chase, once you repair that, you need to moon gaze. Missy, meanwhile, is quite tired. I'm going to have her move the laundry to the dryer. Apparently, they're more specific to the sim. It's like Missy, who's into gardening, might want to be box, but Oliver Chase wouldn't. I don't, I still don't, I still feel like they should have just, especially because, like, they would, I, they don't have, the wants are only tailored towards base game and high school years right now. Um, so, like, none, neither of them's gonna want to be box, because that's, uh, because that's, um, seasons. Why don't you go over here and play with Aurelius? Let's pet, hug, talk. <gasps> Hello, B. But you got here, you got here before the birthday, so that's good. <laughs> Guys, I can't be reading off your comments when your comments are, hello, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I just want... They're so cute. <laughs> I, I... Per, er, B, you missed it. I, like, squealed. Oh my god. I squealed when I saw Aurelius because I forgot about him. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff lately that are really good additions, but they've forgotten in the next uh, uh, expansion, unfortunately. Yeah, and it's like, what is this? Pokemon? Like... <laughs> My two favorite series can't both have the same flaw. <laughs> Alright, why don't you come over here and we can just keep playing with the dollhouse a little bit. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's so stinky. He's stinky and just watching the laundry. <laughs> Like, whoa. It's spinning. That's insane. <laughs> He's so cute. I'll take Oliver Chase out of his uh, telescope for a second so he can come and change this baby's diaper. There's been a fly in my room for the past like four days, and I'm like, aren't fly lifespans supposed to be short? What's up, Dip? Uh oh. Uh, ooh. Dude, I want to get in that. I want to go spinny. August, no. <laughs> okay, put the laundry away, and then go back to moon gazing. It was awful. Oh, oh no! It's two in the morning. Where, where is the child? Oh, oh, he's coming over here to talk to his sister. Okay, that's fine. August, please don't go spinny. <laughs> oh, communication level four. They're so cute. <laughs> I love them so much. There's a picture of me sitting on top of our loader washer with a big old grin on my face. 
like when you were a child or when you were grown? <laughs> Come on, please, please, Oliver. We're so close. We're so close. Are there more birds out here? Yeah. When you're done, then tell Aurelius to chase these birds. Okay, he's gone back to bed. Don't, don't bother him. You go back to bed, too. Okay, we got a moon print, but I don't think it was the last one. Mm, six them from the moon is cool, but that's not the one we need. Right, which one do we need again? Yeah, we need an uncommon. Or we need a common one. We need a common one. It's always the common one. It's the last one I find. <laughs> the lure of washers and dryers is too much for a baby. Well, it's a good thing he can open it. <gasps> ooh, ooh, the kitty cat brought us more feathers. Open that when you get the chance. Okay, we got another one. Okay, yep, yeah, that's the golden moon one. I'm gonna let- I'm just gonna let him keep going. It's always the common ones. When I was playing with Cairo, then I wanted Cairo to finish the bug collection. Because he was really into, like, camping and stuff. And the last- the last bug that I had to find was the fire ant. <laughs> one of the most common bugs was the last one that I needed to find. And it took me so long. I had to look up where they spawned. What's wrong, baby? Why are you all sad? Are you hungry? You've got some food. No, I don't want to check out Thrifty, y'all. Please. Oh, you're fine. Your holiday was fine. You slept most of it. <gasps> Ooh, it's springtime. Which means our bees are gonna make us honey. We're gonna start getting honey. Yes! Oh, hi, Lila. Sure. In fact, I wish we could have some honey right now so I could make the kids a honey cake. Do you have work today? No, both you and Oliver Chase have today. Okay, cool. So we can age the kids up whenever we really, whenever we want, really. All right. I think you're not going to get any more movements. Oh, oh, we got the rare one. We got the rare one. Yeah, we got the, the spotted six and feather. A rare find indeed. Experts thought this owl long gone from the world. Its otherworldly plumage had scientists convinced it was a stowaway from forays to a nearby planet. This will make an impressive showpiece to any feather collection. Yeah, so we've got a couple. Um, oh, I, oh, dude, I kind of want to read all these. Uh, the same thing happened with me to me with Mint and the Elements collection. I don't remember which one exactly was the last one, but I know it was common. I think, I think the same thing happened to me when I completed it with Pepper. Um, one of my last, one of, I know it was, un, it wasn't common, but it was uncommon. I, I had gotten all of the rarest ones first. I remember that. Okay. Yeah. So we got, we got one, we got the rarest one right there, which is good. And then we got two common ones so we can, can knock those out. Are there more birds? Aurelius, you know what to do. And then why don't you come over here and empty the bowl? We'll get him some fresh food and then call him to eat. All right, where is this cat gonna drop the feathers? Meow. Yeah. 
cutie. Where are you going? Where, where, I'm glad I decided to follow you, buddy. Where are you going? Okay, all right. Cool. Let's grab those. To be fair, you also don't do gameplay. <laughs> Here, can you fill in call Aurelius to eat? And you can finish your... I don't want to try and pronounce that because I feel like I'm going to say it wrong. So I would rather uh, be able to look up the pronunciation so I say it correctly instead of just, just butchering it. Speaking of, um, I mentioned it on Discord, but I, it was such a stupid, horrible mistake that I feel a need to, like, mention it on a recording where, like, it's forever recorded. Um, <laughs> but I have been pronouncing Tane's name wrong this entire time for almost ten generations. Um, I, I have been... I have been mis mispronouncing his name and I don't know how that happened and I feel really really bad about it um and yeah I'm sorry to I I I, I named him after the the Maori legend of um I, I think it was I think it was the warrior who put the stars in the sky but he had something to do with, but like the Tane in Maori mythology or Maori Maori lore, Mithauri. That's kind of a cool word, but that's not right. Um, but in kind of in like um, Maori Maori lore, um, he had something to do with the stars, and so I wanted to name uh, to name Tane after him because Tane would also have something to do with the stars. Um, and I clearly put more thought into why I was going to name him that than into the basics of what the name was and that was stupid and I'm sorry and I'm going to try my best to um address to like address him properly by his the actual pronunciation of his name from now on uh but yeah <laughs> so yeah sorry <laughs> can you clean this don't clean it lightly it needs more than a light clean uh -huh. Also, don't stop that. Oh, I'm glad you went on a very nice date with another person. You are always going on very nice dates with everybody. I don't mean that to shame you. It just is surprising how many dates you managed to go on, Lorraine. Let's add that to the dryer. Dry. Add to washing machine. The baby's awake. Oh, and she's hungry. I think she might need a diaper change. Yeah, let's change her diaper. And then let's make a little fruit salad for the kids. Um. Oh, it's one o'clock. It's no longer the morning. <laughs> Oops. Um. Serve lunch. Let's make some caprese salad. That stuff's so good. Oh, what you doing, baby? Destroy snow pal. Okay. Don't you dare destroy that dollhouse. Okay, no, you wanna here you, why don't you guys both come in? Vent frustrations to snow pal? My son is so emotionally intelligent. Um, Aurelius, I don't, thank you. <laughs> okay, Misty might spoil Aurelius a little bit too much, just slightly. Joke about ice with the snow pal. They are both hungry. Yeah, Edie, come over here. Everybody come and get some food. Mom's brought you some food. She also needs to come over here and apply the mite treatment. <gasps> oh, we can collect the honey. Okay, we'll collect some ho the honey and then we'll make um, a honey cake. And then we can evolve this one. And then we'll come over here and tend the, tend the garden. No. 
Okay, collect honey, collect beeswax, bond with the bees, supercell. God, we have so much money. <laughs> Bro, you don't need to observe this guy anymore. Can we can we hunt more birds? Yes, we can! Command to chase birds! Oliver Chase and, uh, and Aurelius, they've got a mutual understanding going on, you know? Okay, we can put this in the fridge. Misty. Here. Okay, it's normal quality honey. That's good. Actually, it wasn't so bad that that we got the bees in winter. Because that meant that Misty had all winter to bond with them before we got any honey. So, normally it takes a while to get, like, normal quality honey. It's usually poor. But because she, but because we had that time, then the first honey we're getting is good is normal quality honey. Oh, no, we need two. Dang it. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll put it, put it in the fridge. Here, can you change your outfit? Draw on this one. And then, are y'all ready? Today is probably going to be mostly makeovers and rooms. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay, I'm going to make a group with everybody in the family. And I want us all to come here. No, Oliver. We're going here together. All right, um, I think August was born first. So we'll have Misty do August and Oliver Chase do Edith. So let's help blow out candles, August. Oliver, I swear to God. You can take a nap after your children have aged up. Oh, and we've got feathers. We've got feathers. Okay, here we go. I'm okay with that. Me too. Oh, I said headline effects on. Headline effects off. That's what we want. <laughs> Edith's like, my turn, my turn. All right, I want you to add birthday candles. Do it quick. Okay, Augustus just aged up. I just called him Augustus. His name isn't Augustus, it's, it's just August. All right, so he's going to be mental. And I've already decided on the three traits I want both of them to have. Sorry, I didn't leave that up to vote. Um, I in the time that it's taken me to not play, I have had, <laughs> I've had a lot of time to think about these two. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. All, all of her Chase's voice is crazy. Um, but so both of them are going to take a trait from each parent and then have, excuse me, one trait for themselves. So I figured that August could take genius from his dad. Okay. Go here together. Oh. Alright, let's help blow out candles for Edith. Ooh, okay, <laughs> August decided he, he, he didn't care about his sister blowing them out, but that's okay. Humble Alright, baby, come on. Uh-huh. Oh my god, 
she's, she's so cute. Um, okay, and so for Edith, um, I was thinking, so Edith's eventual traits, she's going to take romantic from her dad, because all the heirs take romantic from the previous heir. Um, ambitious is going to be her, her, like, like her specific trait because she's going to do career climber. Um, and that's the career climber trait. Um, and so then I was trying to think of what I wanted her, her trait for, and she can't do either of those traits right now. Those are, um, ambitious for some reason is only available when they become young adults. They can't have that as teenagers, which I think is stupid. Um, <laughs> they're very ambitious teenagers. Um, but, uh, and romantic, you can, you understandably can't have that one until you're a teenager. Um, so I was thinking of which one of Misty's traits I wanted her to have. She can't have unflirty because that conflicts with romantic. Um, so that's either good or art lover. And while I do think Edith's a good person, I don't think she's the type to have the good trait. So I think I'm going to give her art lover. So she'll be art lover, romantic, and ambitious. Um, and then for her, for this, I'm not quite sure what I want her aspiration to be. What did I write down? They can get jobs as teens. Why can't they be ambitious? It's so weird. It's so weird. Um, okay. I, I, I put down that she would get artistic prodigy, so I guess I'll give her artistic prodigy. Um, Okay, our babies are here. All right, let's, um, testing cheats on cast off full edit mode. Eyes, eyes, eyes. I'm on laptop, no emojis. Nibnut ranch alloy. All right, let's look at the babies. Uh, oh, this is their cold weather. I'm glad I checked that. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's very much got Misty's eyes. I mean, we gave them to her, so <laughs> that makes sense. But, <laughs> but still, cute. All right, let's give her some eyelashes. Ooh, I like these on her. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so I kind of like the idea for with Edith of... Because she had super short hair as a toddler, I kind of like the idea of, like, each life stage, her hair grows, like, a little bit more. Um, so this hair is actually not bad for it, but the one I was specifically thinking, ooh, there's this one now. Oh my god, it's so good. This is such a good hair. <laughs> like, holy cow. Okay. Go off, I guess. Um, but the specific hair I was thinking for her was... Oh my gosh, that's so cute on her, too. Um, uh, I love that hair so much. It's so good. <laughs> Sorry, the specific hair that I was thinking of is this one. I feel like this is a nice, like, midpoint between a pixie cut and, um, between, yeah, between, like, the pixie cut that she had as a toddler, and so now it's grown a little bit, and it's nice and wavy. Um, and then, like, it can go down to her shoulders when she reaches tween, and it can be a little bit longer when she gets her glow up, and then it can be long, and then it can be longer when she ages up into a young adult. Um, but yeah, I think that's cute. I wonder if, if we give her earrings. You can kind of see them. I'm not going to give her those. Those are really big. Can't believe Batu is coming in handy again. Honestly, one of the reasons I bought Batu is this hair. I love this hair. The, I'm like, literally, I had been looking for a hair like this for Jolie. Um, and like, there just wasn't anything I could find that like fit the bill. And then I saw this in Batu and I was like, oh no. <laughs> am I gonna buy the, am I gonna buy this horrible, horrible and principle and practice pack just for this hair? Um, and I got it, I got it, I got it used. I got it used. Two is only useful for stuff that doesn't look like it came out of Star Wars. But yeah, I, I got it. I got it secondhand. I got it out off of one of those kind of shady secondhand key sites. <laughs> so it was already bought. 
Okay, I'm thinking that she can dress kind of nice. I feel like she's going to be pretty classy as, as a child, you know? That's kind of cute, but not quite what I was thinking. That's all. That's that's a little bit more what I was thinking. That's cute. That's actually what Hayden wore when she was a child. Um, I love this dress, but I'm not sure if it's quite right for her, you know? Ooh, I like this. Yeah, this this is her vibe. And she and it's got cats on it and she loves her cat. Oh wait, that's so cute. Stop. Well, Persebeth, I'm glad you asked if either of them are gonna go through a rebellious phase, because that's something that uh I was gonna talk to you guys about. <laughs> Um, also, uh, yeah, exactly. That's why she's dressed nice, is because she's she's wildly rich, exactly. I can see, um, her painting her nails with her mom. That kind of matches the colors, like the pastel -y colors. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. I don't want to give her glasses, even though I don't think she's going to wear glasses. Like, I don't plan on giving her glasses, but I kind of want to give her glasses. Like, I feel like that completes the look right there. I mean, we can just say she wears contacts later on. It's not a big deal. I just feel like there needs to be something on her face, you know? What's What are skin details? Okay, we don't have any of these. I was thinking of maybe giving her a mole when she ages up, um, just because she doesn't have, like, freckles or anything else. But then she really looks like Felicity. She doesn't even need that. It doesn't do anything. Maybe they're fake glasses? No, I don't think that they would. Oliver Chase is very sensitive about eye care. I don't think he'd let his daughter wear fake glasses. <laughs> you know what? Maybe she... Oh wait, no, she can't wear glasses. Duh, she can't wear glasses because that, that takes off the eyelashes. Okay, never mind then. That answers that question for us. Well, what I was gonna say is maybe the the she has the same like genetic disease that Oliver or the same disease that Oliver Chase does. Um but it doesn't matter for her because she doesn't want to go into space. Um but yeah, no, she can't, she can't wear glasses because that takes off her eyelashes and I refuse to allow that, so. <laughs> Is there like a cute little hat we could put on her maybe? That one's kind of cute. Is there a good swatch of it? The hat's kind of nice. What are we thinking of the hat? I like it in the blue swatch. I just feel like she needs something going on like up top to complete the look. Do we have like a child's beret? We don't and I haven't downloaded one. I might download a child's beret and give her a beret. Guys, can I exit out of the game really quick and download a beret? <laughs> Cause I feel like the I feel like the beret is what what'll actually complete the look here. I love her very much. I'm very excited. I have I have thought a lot. Give you what you need about needing something up top, but IDK. That's why I want the beret. Okay. Okay, I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to really quickly close my game. And I'm going to go find a beret for children. And then we're going to give her a beret. <laughs> Thank
The Miko ones are my suggestion. Thank you, B. Uh, it'll, this do, that does make this easier if I actually already have. Uh, one build mode item has been removed. Okay. Okay, let me save and exit really quick. Okay, let me do Sims for Miko Beret CC. That, that popped up. Oh, that's very cute. Oh, one of them's a peach. Oh my God. Oh my God. And some of them have little deer antlers. Okay. Okay. That's adorable. Um, that's okay. Here, let me, um, let me go to internet so you guys can see what I'm doing. So when I use back on Cypress, it's so cute. Um, but these, do the, these are for all ages. The child co- Okay, yeah, so, so, okay. Um, where do I download them? Okay, Patreon. Oh, I love this creator! Oh, I love this creator, okay. Um, I love this dress and I love this hair. I have downloaded a bunch of this creator stuff. Um, let me... I gotta find it now. Sorry. Give me a second here. Ooh, that's... I might need to go... I'm, I might need to download a bunch of this creator st stuff as soon as I get off of stream. Hair, clothes and shoes, skin and other genetics. I'm looking for accessories. Here we go. The flower girl. I'm not gonna download it. I'm, I'll, I'll wait. I can be patient. I can be patient even though all of this is gorgeous. Oh my god. Those are nice eyelashes too. Oh my gosh, the fox sucks. Yeah, I downloaded that. I downloaded this. Here we go, beret set. Um, okay, let me... We don't want the fruit beret... Get the newsy dear newsy hat enter beret hat package save link as gotta go in my accessories folder specifically um and i'm gonna leave this up and i'll download the rest of it later <laughs> so that you guys are not uh not just watching me click download links i mean i guess that those videos do do numbers on youtube but something tells me that's not the content you guys are here for. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm going to close my curtain. Okay, let's go. I don't think I... Did I click the right button there? I think I clicked new game because it lingered. I'm mostly enjoying listening to you while I play Cookie Run so you can do whatever you want. What's Cookie Run? Definitely click new game, and I'm gonna have to go through another loading screen. <laughs> Yay! Sorry. In my defense, I clicked resume, but it was just lagging. Maybe I did click resume. Mobile gotcha style game, but instead of fighting with characters, you jump and slide? Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, no, I did do it right. Okay. All right, let's go back. Testing cheats on pass.full edit mode. All right, you get back in here. Uh oh, dropping frames. Okay. All right, let's give you a beret. Yeah, that's it. Let's see what swatches we've got here. Oh, her dad would totally get her this one, but it doesn't really go with the outfit. Ooh, the blue one's kind of cute. Oh, unless they have like a pink or teal, that might be better. I don't see a teal, but they've got a pink. Yeah, we'll do the pink. Oh my god, she is so cute. <laughs> Look at her! I really want to make myself a beret because you can crochet berets and I look really good. Give me a second. I look really good in berets. Like, not to brag, but... But, like, I look good in berets, and I'm gonna wear this for the rest of stream now. Absolutely not. Not to brag! Ayy! Okay, yeah, that is the right one I was using. Um, is there, like, another hair that I look, can look kind of like I'm putting it up? No, it's way too long. Way, way, way too long. Where's the- do, did the kids not get the version of this without the, the dyed hair? Um, okay, I think we're just gonna go with her normal hair. And then I liked this dress on her, so I think I'm gonna do that again. Ooh, that's a vibe. Misty picked this out. She's so cute. Let's uh, can paint her little nails again. Misty likes painting her nails, so I feel like that's something that these two, like, do together. Like, she saw her mom doing it and wanted to do it, too. I like that hat. I like giving her hats. I think she's cute in hats. Look at these enormous shoes, though. Um, let's take those off. I feel like you would do ballet. Or you'd at least like ballet. Like your great, 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 great grandmother. Felicity actually probably wasn't that far back, but Felicity was pretty far back. I can, like, when it was zooming in, I can definitely see Oliver Chase and, like, her facial structure. I think she's, I do think she is, like, even though, like, at first glance, she takes mostly after Misty, I do think she's a nice mix of, like, both of her parents. Alright, let's give her another, I like this, no, I don't think that's really her, her vibe, you know? Um, ooh, this could be her vibe, though. She's definitely a good mix. I agree. 
This is pretty. She doesn't need them all the time. Bright pink. Like that pink. I guess I guess we'll give her the pan nails. Um I don't think she is pan, but it's okay, children can can use colors for pretty can use our colors just because they're pretty, they're children. Um This is my favorite one. He paints her nails different colors for fun. Yeah, she's yeah exactly. She's five. She doesn't know it's a pride flag. It's fine. <laughs> like, like it's not that deep. I'm not gonna hijack rainbows from children. this. Oh, that's adorable. That's an adorable top. I never use it. You can do like the little jeans. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. I don't understand why the lesbian nails are like varying shades of brown. <laughs> I will hijack them from bigots because it makes them mad. Yeah, we can hijack them from bigots, but I'm not gonna hijack them from children. <laughs> Someone's gonna get mad at me for saying that. Oh no, not someone getting mad at me on Twitter. of giving her a hat again here and give her a little black hat oh she's so cute <laughs> she's so cute um about this jacket no i don't really think that's her i'm gonna get you canceled on twitter.com you can't steal the rainbow from god always gives me a good laugh i mean that's kind of the thing about the rainbow is it's just a sequence of colors <laughs> and it's a very it's it's a sequence of colors necessary to understanding many things so like it's not solely <laughs> when I when I said hijacking him from bigots I still I still don't even mean the rainbow necessarily like if like I think the bigots are stopping themselves from liking the rainbow <laughs> by associating it with us so much <laughs> That's not our problem, that's theirs. This is pretty. Please don't get me canceled on twitter.com, Persebeth, I'm sorry. Whatever will I do if the website that I never go on, or that I go on so infrequently doesn't like me. Give me that hat. I'm gonna give her the pink one. So I think that's... Yeah, so she wears the pink one. Oh my god, she's so cute! No, no, I'll absolutely gatekeep the, the rainbow from bigots. Like, we didn't steal it. They're just so terrified that someone might possibly think they aren't straight that they won't go near it. Exactly. <laughs> like, I don't think we stole the rainbow from God. When I see a rainbow in the sky, I still think about the promise he made. About, like, God's promises to us. 
When I see it in a flag, I do know what it means, though. Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. Gonna be Edith's slogan. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. Can we give her, like, I wanna give her cute little teeth. Can we give her, like, like, that's so cute. No, I think I think that's too many teeth. I think that's too many teeth. People are gonna think her parents aren't rich and we can't have that. We'll give her little buck teeth and then she'll have it filed down when she's a teenager. But for now, she's got cute little buck teeth. Think of the, the guy who saw the double rainbow. The devil rainbow across the sky. It's so beautiful. What a treasure. All right, August, you're up next. I don't wanna give you this hair. It's very rich boy hair. He looks like Alexander Goth now. All right, you are not gonna be getting eyelashes because you're gonna get glasses. We're gonna give you the little Harry Potter glasses. What hair should we give you? That's the question. This hair is so good. Maybe instead of filling it, it's just that her two front teeth fell out first so her adult teeth give the appearance of buck teeth. Oh, that's so cute. I'd be okay with that. Oh, he gets the same hair his dad had. He's got such chubby little cheeks. He's so cute. Yeah, this is just pre, uh, pre makeover Alex. See, I like this one, but I don't like this on the chi on the children. I wish that there was a version that didn't have this. That's very cute too. Um, oh, that looks good. That's what all it, it looks good because that's what Oliver Chase had. <laughs> this is all. This is now he just looks like Oliver Chase when Oliver Chase was a child. at least try and differentiate them a little bit. That's adorable. That's really cute. I kind of like that one. Oh, there's this one. This one looks very rich boy. This one looks very my dad is a doctor. I also like this one. I kind of like this one. I think this one I like the best. Listen, kids love stuff like that. My mom just did a very similar haircut, line and all, on a six-year-old. Percival, I don't know if I ever told you, but it took, like, three months for the knot that your mom tied on my tennis shoes to come out. And I was very grateful for that. <laughs> okay, I like this one. I'm gonna go with this one. He looks a lot like Oliver Chase. Oliver Chase would make it fish boy. Okay, we're taking these off. I can't, I cannot stand those. a new one. Can never let her know her ego would never deflate. <laughs> it was a good knot, man. I don't I don't know what you want from me. <gasps> oh, let's do this one. With oh my god. Where's the where I need I need all the Argo. Oh look at the little rainbow! I mean he is gay. August Bragg is gay. I feel like his mom would knit this for him. That's so cute. We're gonna do that. Oh, those are like sweatpants. I don't wanna give him like these. I feel like these are, I mean, is he gonna be suit kid too? He actually kind of looks like the suit kid from my school. <laughs> Being a suit kid is genetic. Um. <laughs>
Oh, that's fine. I mean, it's Batu. They can both have something in Batu. Just for them. Love that for them. And you can have these cute little, cute little loafers. Might be partial suit kid. Maybe full suit kid. He's it, gonna be at least a partial suit kid. At least. Wait, can he be a suit kid, but he gets his socks mixed up? That's so cute. I love him. I love him dearly. All right, what should we put you in here? This. Shouldn't have even asked because the answer was obvious. Go with the dark blue. I'm crying in the club. Mm. Okay. Uh, so this is his fit, his athletic wear. I honestly don't think he would. No, he would work out a lot because he wants to be an astronaut. like this have the blue and the yellow those were my elementary school colors blue and yellow he plays basketball so cute give me those mismatched socks again I like this shirt on him. I'm, I'll give. I'll keep the shirt. Let's give him. Um, yeah, yeah, like that. That's good. He's basically just OC, but he does like boys. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember that time when Oliver Chase was like, maybe I like boys. And then he and then he talked to a boy and he was like, I don't like boys. <laughs> I was wrong. Yeah, no, August is he, August tells him and he's and his dad's like, Are you sure? Uh and he's like, Yes, dad, I'm very sure. <laughs> Oliver Chase is like Oliver Chase is like, are you sure about that, son? And August is like, well, dad, you know how I'm I'm not doing as well, like, uncharacteristically badly in my, uh, in, like, my, my, my social studies class? And his dad's like, yeah. And, and August is like, well, that's the class <laughs> that the really hot fisher fisherman boy is in. <laughs> and that's why I'm not doing as well. <laughs> and his dad is like, understood. Go get him, son. <laughs> I feel like he'd be a little self-conscious. Can we get like a little, yeah, just like a little, little like this for when he's, when he swims. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> By the way, B, uh, I am gonna put, is it Ihaka? I think. I, now I'm really afraid of pronouncing any type of names from these because I, I feel like I'm probably going to get them wrong. Um, but I, I have them. Gay Panic will ensue. There it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to. He's. He, th this is Oliver Chase's future. Not Oliver Chase's future. <laughs> they look the same, but they're not the same. This is August's future husband. But right now, August is a child, so we don't need to worry about that.
Give him little sandals. These are cute. I don't know if we're ever gonna see their uh, their hot weather wear, but it's okay. I want to give him his little hat again. Otherwise, I'd, I'd already be calling the police. <laughs> yeah, no, as we already discussed, Oliver Chase doesn't like boys. He, he tried. He did not succeed. Oh, you're definitely getting this. That's not even a question. The question is, do I give you this one? Pattern or no pattern? What are y'all's opinions? You know what? The pattern's fine now that, I, now that like, his pants aren't as busy, so we'll go pattern. Let me change his hat, though. I'm gonna just make it black. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then what we also need to do is go in here. Hmm. Sexual orientation. This sim is romantically attracted to, to women. He is not exploring romantically. He already, di he already tried that. Um, and he is not interested in woohooing with anybody. Look at this little nerd 2.0. He really is exactly like Oliver Chase. But yeah, so he- so Oliver Chase, exclusively interested in women, not exploring, not interested in woohooing with anyone. Misty! Uh, I'm- I- I- Grace never specifically said what- like, what sexuality Miss- if Misty might be interested in girls. But I never really got that vibe from her, so I'm gonna say that she's also, like, only attracted to men. She's also not exploring romantically, and she's also not interested in woohoo with anybody. So. There we go. Oh my gosh. Look at this! Hey, Aurelius. Hey, baby. Look at these two. They look so- they're so wealthy. <laughs> I feel like these kids- like, I feel like her beret. Costs like my entire student loan payment. <laughs> there you go. And she's got the little artist and loves art, and she's got her beret. Oh my god. Alright, so there's that done. Her outfit is worth more than I could be sold for on the black market. <laughs> All right, let's get you. So you've got to pee. And you can come and pee. How are you doing, buddy? Okay, he is going to, um, he's taking a shower. I'm just gonna replace this. Oliver. Oliver, please. Quick. Commander Cat. There are so many birds. Also, where did the feathers go? Oh, they're right here. Open these feathers. Three co crow feathers? Oh, God. Come on, Aurelius, give me some good ones. <laughs> he just moved right past Oliver. He's like, nope, these aren't for you. Here, Oliver, come over here and open. And then you can go and take a nap. Look, I know, but crows are everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Crow feather, hair and feather, duck feather. Hair and I think is new. Got a duck feather. Yeah, okay, so we got one new one there.
the heron. Herons are fastidious creatures grooming themselves constantly, known for their hunting speed and infinite patience. They can be admired with no regrets. <laughs> That, that's a good, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, so we got one rare and two uncommon feathers left to find. Essie, hi! Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've seen you in stream. Hi, uh, we just finished making over the twins. So this is Oliver, Chase, and Misty. Um, they're two they're two kids. This is Edith. <laughs> she is the next heir. <laughs> And then August is up here playing with the dollhouse. So he's her twin brother. Not the bird puns. I love the bird puns. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, so the next thing we need to do is fix up their rooms. Because since they are children now. LOL. The, ki the kids are running me ragged. I imagine you have like a baby. Like an entire baby. Oh, this also needs to be fixed. Oh, no, it doesn't. Cool. Does William recognize... You told me William would recognize my voice. Does he recognize my voice? Interesting. Um, yeah, you can come over here and take a nap. You stop doing that. I'm going to turn that off, and then I want you to practice your storytelling. Because you're almost done. No, no, I love the puns. I'm just upset that I'm not the one making them. <laughs> That's fair. Actually, before you do that, lecture about jumping on the counters and lecture about eating human food. Aurelius, stop. Lecture about eating human food. Oh, I don't know if that actually did anything, but we'll just put that in the fridge. He's definitely interested. Hi, William. Hey, buddy. Are you smiling? You got such a big old smile. Oh, yes. Okay, so what are these two? So we need to actually, um, favorite thing though is Luca, which also makes sense because I'm pretty sure we watched it a lot when I was pregnant. Oh, I've actually never seen Luca. Um,. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not turn off, turn on this room and we're going to go through and change this up. Um, so first of all, I'm going to take this photo and we'll just replace, oh, let me do bb.move objects on. I'm gonna take that one out and we'll just replace it with this one. Look, look, Essie. Look at the little pregnancy photos and it's so cute. Um, we're gonna grab these and we're gonna move them up to the attic. So if she ever wants to, if Misty ever wants to like make some candles and she's probably going to want to keep making flower, although she doesn't have to, she's at the top of her career now. Um, but if she ever wants to, she can come up here and make some flower arrangements. Um, and then I think we're going to keep this because it's already got kind of a dark spacey color scheme. I think we're going to keep this as um, August's room. So let's just get rid of like all of the baby stuff because they're not babies anymore come on mom okay we'll keep the bookshelf just because i feel like he might like that and we'll no we'll get rid of the bunny um but we will keep the bear somewhere okay so first of all his bed maybe his bed could go no his, i think his, i'll put his bed over here well mm, actually let's 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 think about this a little bit actually um let's get him a dresser the new pack came with some real nice dressers like look at that that's a really nice dresser <laughs> 
Got the literal suitcases. I'm a fan. Um... Ooh, this looks fancy and kind of like spacey. It kind of matches the theme. So we'll get him that. Um, can we get him like a mirror to go above it? I feel like that. <laughs> okay, we already have it, but okay, go off, I guess. Um, that's fine. Is there one that's a little bit lower though? <gasps> He's gonna, his room's gonna be real nice. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that for him, we're gonna go with a little bit more, at least for now, when he's like a kid, we're gonna go for a little bit more of like the, the nature-y, like kind of, more like, I, I guess a witchy <laughs> um, side. Uh, what is magic if not science without an explanation? Exactly. Um... Yeah, this came from the Werewolves Pack, Essie. Um, I haven't actually used it before. But, yeah, this is good. Um, yeah, so Essie, just to ca I guess to, to give you, like, a little catch-up on kind of what this, um, what this generation is about, then, uh, so, Oliver Chase, what is our current heir, current, um, and he... Is this the only one with the star? I want to give him one with a star. I don't like that though. That's bad. Um, but yeah, so Oliver Chase, um, he is a doctor, but he grew up really wanting to be um, an astronaut. I feel like I, I want to give him that because it's got all the space stuff. But no, we're gonna go with like the more magic-y space thing for when he's a kid. Um, but he grew up wanting to be an astronaut, but um, he ended up having this like condition like eye condition that made it so that if he went into space he would basically go blind by 30 like um like his eyes di are digit are like are like degenerating at a faster rate degenerating is that i don't know what that word means wow okay uh is that what it means i don't actually know um but yeah basically his eyes are degenerating at a faster rate than um normal so and going into space would have made that way way worse so he could not go into space um thereby his dreams were ruined um, but, so what we decided is that his, so he ended up becoming a doctor, and he loves being a doctor, it's all good, but his son, ah, oh, he still really, really likes, degenerating would be an inappropriate word, okay, thank you, <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, is that the right, is that the right word, I don't even know, um, but anyway, so he's now a doctor, and he had his two kids, Edith, who's gonna be the heir, and then his son, August, and what we decided is that August is going to be all so but basically he kept up his love of space this entire time if you look in the backyard you can see that he's got like this big old telescope we we've got space prints all around the house because he loves looking through his telescope and like get collecting space prints and stuff so he still loves space um and he even made like his kids toddler room kind of spacey like spacey colors so what we're saying is that his love for space wore off on his son august and so now August wants to be an astronaut. Um, and he does not have the same condition that his dad does. So he actually can be an astronaut, um, which makes Oliver Chase really happy. So we're kind of going for that vibe. Okay, I think what I might need to do is move this. Okay, I think I think this is, this is the layout here. I'm gonna go like here. Give him this. Deliberacy so, like, just shared a lot. No, I'm gonna delete that and we'll try and get him a cooler. So he's basically my husband William's room is space themed because Chris also wanted to be an astronaut. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that, but yeah, that's so cute. It's a little dark, but that's okay. It fits the vibe. Is, are you guys, like, super wealthy? Because in that case, then, yeah, it is a lot like this. <laughs> Did the job that you got, that he ended up getting, make you guys super rich? Because in that case, yeah, it's a lot like this family, then. <laughs> um, okay, let's get him a new toy. Let's get him the little Dalmatian. That's cute. Oh my god, this stupid, this stupid bug. 
I cannot stand it. I want it out of my room. Okay, so that's good. Oh, I'm not really rich, unfortunately. <laughs> If only it was as easy to become an astronaut in real life as it is in Sims. Um, I actually think the vibe would be better with this. Let's give him the rainbow one because he's gay. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, August is also gay. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know it yet. He's going to know it soon because... You learn, you, you figure that kind of thing out pretty early on a lot, most of the time. Um, but Chris wants to work for NASA one day and my aunt works for them already, so maybe. Not above asking for her to put in a good word for him. I mean, if you can, use nepotism to your advantage, honestly. Because he's gay. <laughs> Automod, let me say gay. Can we get, like, a cute little bookshelf here? That's pretty cute. This is my first thought was, aren't we all? <laughs> I think everybody here in chat right now is gay. I don't- there are three people talking. I- I- I feel like I might know who the first person lurk- the fourth person who's lurking is. And if that's the case, we're all definitely gay. Um, alright, let's get him a little lamp. This lamp is so cool. Like, it's so extra, but I love it. I kind of- Oh, it- This belongs in this house somewhere. Let's- let, Can we- Let- Sorry. Sorry. We gotta stop the stream for a second and find a place to put this lamp. Because it's insane and I love it. You're Ace Persebeth. That counts. Kind of want to put it here, but the cat bed's here. His bachelor's is in physics. Well, that's okay, Persbeth. I'll call you that for you. <laughs> okay, you know what? Aurelius never uses this bed anyway. Aurelius just sleeps wherever the heck he wants, and I support him in that. So we're gonna- we're gonna use this ridiculous lamp in here. <laughs> I want to land me a nerd. This house, it reminds me of Spirited Away for some reason. Something about the shape. Isn't there like a lamppost that's kind of droopy like this? I'm going to put the cat bed back. I don't think it actually works there very well. Um, it needs to go somewhere where it's not going to be, like, in the way of pathing. Dang it, this lamp is too hard to use. The one that leads them to the cottage. Thank you, Essie. Thank you. Essie, have you shown your kids Studio Ghibli? Studio Ghibli was the first movie- Spirited Away was the first movie my mom ever showed me, and I'm pretty sure it has had a profound impact on my life. Or the first one I ever remember my mom showing me, at least. <gasps> Can we get him little string lights? Oh, B, we love you too. My neighbor Totoro and Kiki's delivery service. Takes a nerd to know a nerd, B. That's good. Probably probably just to mimic what my mom did for me when I feel like my my child. Have I ever told you guys about like the story of or about like how my mom the first movie she ever showed me was Spirited Away and why that's like kind of that was kind of a big deal for me? This lamp's 
kind of nice. I'm just gonna put it down really quick. I said I wasn't a nerd, I'm just the forbidden breed of chaos. Okay, so he's got his to little toy box, but what he really needs is his science table. Oh my god, I cannot wait until this Oliver Chase gets his last print and I can take this thing out and make a little playground for the kids using all of the little camper stuff. Haven't heard the story about your mom and spirited away. Um, so like I said, um, spirited away was the first movie that I ever remember I get rid of it, that I ever remember my mom showing me. And that's kind of a big deal because I was a very, very, very anxious baby. Like I was scared of everything. Uh, the anxiety has run deep since the beginning in this one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and Spirited Away, if you haven't seen it, it can be kind of scary at times. Like, there's a couple scenes that are, like, legitimately pretty freaky. Um, but my mom is an artist, and she, it's one of her favorite movies because it's such, it's just stunning. It's, it's one of the most beautiful movies ever created. Um, and she, and it got to the point where... Even though Yababa was freaky for sure. I'm talking about No Face, man. He, he freaked me out for such a long time. Um, but it got to, but it got to the point for, with her where it's like, like, this is her, fa like, this is her favorite movie. And even though I was an extremely anxious child and, um, oh, this is cool. Even though I was just like this like super anxious child, I was afraid of everything. Then she still made, she still trusted me enough to like, the, to like understand the movie and not, and, uh, and not be so scared about, by it that I wouldn't be able to like see the beauty in it, even though I was still quite young. Like she, she knew that I would, that she like understood that even if I was scared, I would still get a lot out of it. And I did, and I think that the fact that that's, that that movie is like such a formative experience for me, I think that that's contributed a lot to like who I am today. And the and so it's always, I, I that's one of the things I I appreciate. One of the many things I appreciate about my mom is that she trusted me enough. Like even as a baby, she she knew that that was something that I could handle, and. Um, and she wanted to like, she want, and she like wanted me to have that experience. If it has, isn't clear yet, I like my mom quite a bit. Well, let's give him this book. I love this book. Just this yeti chasing these children. Okay, um, what else can we put here? Heck, let's put this in. I know it's like meant for babies, but you can like it. I, although I think there's an actual like mobile you can get that's like spacey, like specifically spacey. Check. No. This is wild because one of my earliest memories is watching Spirited Away with my dad. 
For some reason, the boiler room uh, scene has always stuck in my head. It's a light. Oh, thank you. Thank you, B. Um, yeah, that it. Wow, that's weird that we both have the same, like, first movie we ever saw. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, well, let me just do really quick. B dot ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. There it is. Oh yeah, that's cool. I've uh, never actually watched a Studio Ghibli movie. Shown at a young age and now I have like mild trauma tied to anime style media. Oh. I'm sorry about that person. <laughs> yeah, like that. They are, I'll tell you if you have, if there's anything that can make you like be able to watch anime style things again, it would probably be a Studio Ghibli movie. Eh, that's close enough. Okay, we need some toy clutter up here. Nosh, it's fine. Just let the people who got me into anime in the first place did a really did a number on me, and I can't watch it without thinking of that. Oh. Yeah, I guess that, that'd be, that was kind of hard to get, pa get past. Um. Well, if you ever want to give it a try, we can try and watch a Studio Ghibli movie together. Make some good memories from it, you know? Yeah, some people in the anime who, was, who like, watch anime are not, um... <laughs> okay, we'll give him the little rocket light that his dad had when he was a kid. Um... Yeah, next time next time we visit each other, then we'll watch Spirited Away. I'm gonna warn you. I'm gonna cry when we get to stay with me. I always do. You saw in Katie's stream how I acted. <laughs> how I reacted when she started <laughs> when that song played in, during her alerts. I, it's not a it's not a pretty sight for me. Hold your hand, it's okay. Oh, well, thank you. I don't know what to put on here. I'm sorry, I'm totally, like, losing track of time, but I, I don't know what to put up here. I guess I'll just go to regular clutter. See if there's anything that catches my eye. I can do this. This is kind of cute. This kind of fits the vibe. another cool item that came with the pack. I'm excited for August and Edith to go to high school. I, I'm also excited for them to just be children because we they just staged up and I think they're really cute. But I'm excited to actually like play with the high school stuff. Maybe he's got a bunch of books. Okay, we just need something like here, and I, I think it'll be okay. Something small. This is starting to itch. <laughs> this particular beret does start to itch after a while, and it's beginning to. 
Flora's Dream Antique Essentials. Oh my gosh, is this anywhere in this house? Because this is literally Misty. This is Misty's vibe. We're put, don't worry, Misty. I got, I got you. There you go. Oh, thanks, Nessie. <laughs> Okay, I think the room looks good. I just need like I'm I, I think we can move on to Edith's after this. But I need I still need to put something here. Isn't it because I realized I was a croissant? <laughs> I'm all, also tend to become a croissant. So that's fair. I could give him a little a little laundry hamper. Little non functional laundry hamper. Just like at the end of his bed, Misty puts his laundry there. Dang, he made me realize I was also a croissant. <laughs> that's, the, that's the secret cap. We're all croissants. One of these have a spacey pattern. <gasps> yes. Okay, let's see if let's see if this works. Let me do the thing that people with CC do all the time. <laughs> Y'all, I can't believe we can do this without CC. I mean, this is the only pillow of its kind, but Look what we just did without look look what we just did without CC. We made we took a non-space bed and we made it a space bed. The little guys, the little campers kit. Do not sleep on the little campers kit. It is so cute. <sighs> like it kind of makes me mad cuz I still don't necessarily like the idea behind kits. But like They've all been real good. <laughs> I, I like a lot of them a lot. I use a lot of them quite often. Um, can we fit like one more thing? Oh, fit something over there. Let's give him just like a little plant. I think he likes plants. Oh, he likes plants like his mom in space, like his dad. That's so cute. I love him. I love the children. Okay, where's that? Speaking of great kits, where's the Bloom and Rings plant that I'm looking for? It's not that one. It's the one that looks like that, but smaller. This one. Think about getting it when I get city living. Okay. I'm just gonna have to. Dang it. <laughs> no, that does not work. <laughs> Fine. I'll get it out. the dogs. Okay, bye Bruce back. Okay, I'm okay with okay, I'm okay with this room. I think this room is fine. Um I wish there was a little bit more maybe I'll change the wallpaper. Give me a second. Because we talked about doing this wallpaper. Yes, okay there we go. So there we go. That's his room. I think it's adorable. I think it's very spacey. I can change that to white though. 
Could have just moved the plant that was already on the dresser, put a second plant. Oh, I could have done that. You're right. You're right. Okay, so now for Edith's room. I don't have as much of an idea for what I want Edith's room to be. So I think what I would like to do is use some of, like, one of the new bedroom sets that came with the new pack. Um, the, I, feel like, I feel like she would like Art Deco. So, like, if we got this bed, and let's just look at the swatches for a second. Guys, look at that bed. That's a nice bed. Oh, these are, these are nice beds. Oh, these are very nice beds. gonna go with that one who is edith bragg is that a reference to something if it is i don't know what it is i'm sorry <laughs> um ooh, can we give her a light oh she's wealthy she's very wealthy let's make this more I want like white can y'all not just give me like regular white with crown molding <laughs> got wallpaper here okay yeah so let's get let's look at this matching furniture set here um oh it's still in white i'm here after dnd hello grace welcome back the uh the twins aged up and so we're decorating their rooms we finished august's this is august's room and then we just started on edith's i'll show you what they look like in a second I'm just gonna sort by the new pack. Oh no, it's not a reference to, uh, tone would be a lot easier to communicate if I could italicize individual words. <laughs> okay, let's, ooh, these are, these are, these are nice. Yeah, she's gonna get the full super fancy Art Deco bedroom set. <laughs> This, this, these are, these are really nice. In fact, I'm just gonna go, let's just show all. Like, show me everything. Could give her the egg chair. I mean, that's a diff, that's one of the different bedroom sets, but it still is, I think it can still work. Yeah, it can still work. Though some of them have, that one has lights. Does, do, is that the only one that has lights? Ooh, that pattern matches the, um, matches one of the, uh, movie hangout curtains that I use a lot. So that's cool. Okay, we'll go there. Because I think that this is an adorable chair. And so she can have a little, little egg chair with some lights. Mmm, eggs. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this, these are, these are nice stuff. I love the egg chair and want one of my own. It's a nice chair. Um, what else have we got? She's got keys in it, so which I don't think she would have, but that's fine. We'll keep it for the vibes. Okay, she's gonna need to play an instrument. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna get rid of these. 
Uh, August, sorry to destroy this in the middle of you playing with it, but I need it first. I, I need, I need this little alcove. Oh my gosh, no, August, don't fall. <laughs> you fell, you fell to the end of the bottom floor. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That was my bad. I was just trying to delete a lamp. Um. Alright, let me... <laughs> let me go here. Let's grab the fancy piano. I'm gonna put a piano here. Yeah, rip August. Their house keys just in case she gets home from school before her parents get home. Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I'll, I'll take that. Is there another way, like, more efficient use of space? I need it more like this. No, I think the way I have it at first was like this. I think this is the best way. Um... Do the black. There we go. Oh gee, oh gee, August. No, <laughs> it's okay. He's fine. He's fine. It's alright. It's fine. <laughs> alright, let's get let's get her. <laughs> let's get her. She needs an activity table for her aspiration. <laughs> that piano absolutely doesn't fit. I think it fits. Look, you can sit down and play it. Mostly stopped drinking soda since my brain feels funky and not a 90s cool type of funky. I stopped drinking soda when I start wanted to lose weight and I, I still drink it occasionally, but for the most part, I've quit, I quit it cold turkey, which if you knew how much soda I drank, you would know that that's quite the feat that I was able to pull off there. Alright, let's see. Why, why, not, why, not, why am I not just there? <laughs> I can just do it normally. Okay, we'll do that. The piano fits B. I don't know what you're talking about. Um. milk has replaced soda for me oh i also had to stop drinking i also stopped drinking milk around that time i basically just switched solely to water and that's all i really drink now is water are there new rugs yes there are Ooh. Ooh. oh my gosh her room is so cool See if they can actually sit and play it. I guess we will see that. Um, water's the best. I drink so much water. I base. There's a reason this is the third one of these bottles that I've needed to get. And it's because I wear them all out. Lamal <laughs> Mood, I drink water and tea, and that's literally it. Okay. Um, let's get something in this corner here. I want to get something like that's a that's a kid. Like she's she's still a child. I want there to be something here that shows that she is a child. So maybe the giraffe. <gasps> the giraffe comes in pink. We're using the giraffe. I'm also going. I'm also going to just get rid of that. It's not really giving me the vibes that I was looking for. Water, it's overwhelming. Uh, two cups of coffee in the morning, a gallon of water for the day, and an evening cup of tea. Water, it's overwhelmingly bland to the point it tastes bad to me. I think it may be part of my ADHD or autism. I did not know that that was a symptom of those things, but... I guess I could see it. It is, it is quite bland. So in a way, it's like, it's not engaging your senses enough. I don't think water tastes bad. I really like it. Like, especially when I'm like really thirsty, it just tastes so good when I actually am able to drink it. Ooh, we should give this, we should give this to, um, I, di I didn't decorate his, I didn't decorate his, um, end table. 
We should definitely give him this if we're going kind of the werewolf pack vibes in here. Can cause an extra sense of taste, something I have. My brother struggles to drink water for the exact same reason. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Thanks for teaching me something new. Um, okay, let's get you a toy in here. Again, I do want it to be clear that this is a child that is sleeping in here. I think that there's one of these dogs. Yes, this one. He's got this cute little pink, pink bandana. I might need the werewolf pack just for the build and buy. The werewolf pack is really good. Like, it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> Um, all right, let's get some cute little pieces of art. Like, can we get the elephant and the bunny? Ooh. That also is good. would have been good for August's room. Although I like the moon and the stars on that one. I think it looks good. <sighs> okay. Um, can anything slot in there? Yes, it can! Oh, yes! Sims team didn't disappoint me. <laughs> it so rarely happens. Okay, but let's see if there's a little, like, kid's decoration that can slot in there. That slots in there. Let's do some, uh, some experimenting, shall we? Those slot in there. Oh, also, the cute townies. I could absolutely see myself having a future sim romancing pretty much any of them. Except maybe Lily, but that's only because she's an elder. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I love Celine. <laughs> I would romance Celine, like me as a person. I would would romance Celine. <laughs> I want there to be like a specifically like kids decoration. Like, ugh, okay, that one doesn't do it. Um. Can we do the bunny? No, the bunny's too big. Ladybug's too big. Those guys are too big. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's way too big. <laughs> um, that's too big. Dang it, that's too big too. Dang it. Just waiting on a good sell. Yeah. It's good though. I would recommend it. Selene is amazing. People don't talk about her enough. She's so cool. Yeah, when I was, like, doing my playthrough where I was just trying to, like, figure out the lore, I inadvertently fell in love with Selene. Okay, you know what? We'll just keep the plant in there. I don't mind. Although, can we do a rose in there instead? If we're doing plants... Does that actually... Is that... No, it doesn't. <laughs> Shrink it down. Okay, now the rose fits in there. But it's... No, it doesn't look very good. Um... What else might be in there? No, that's too big. There's a very... This type of slot, I recognize this type of slot. Build enough in The Sims and you start recognizing slot sizes. Like this. That one's gonna go in there. It's small enough. This... That one's also gonna go in there, and I think that one actually does fit. That one fits fine. I'll put that. I'll keep that one in there. I'd imagine Bella as a child was probably very cautious, or at least I think. Like Bella Goth. Um, okay, let's. I imagine that Edith would keep her room pretty clean, so I'm not too bothered about, like, cluttering it up a lot. Um. But I do think she would, like, have stuff on her nightstand. Bella Goth. Wasn't she, like, a partier? I, 
could see her not being cautious because she's partying. Okay, we can put our little a little lamp there. The clutter. Okay, we'll put this little craft supply thing over here. I love that it's like kind of see-through and you can like kind of see in it. That's so cute. In fact, we'll put that on the slot closest to where her craft table is. Wait, let me look at this craft table for a second. That's a nice craft table. Hello. Look at that. She's got markers. She's got paintbrushes. She's got origami paper. She's got glitter. Never played The Sims 3, so I actually don't have an answer for once. Well, like, in the, the Sims promo art, then she mentioned me, like, no one party... I have yet to meet a blonde who is part who part who can party as hard as me, or can as party as much as me. Something like that. Oh, we've got makeup. I think she's a little young for makeup right now, so we'll not give her that. But maybe in the future we can give her the makeup. Um, we've got this cool, this nice like toy chest. I don't really have a place to put it. <gasps> I might not be able to stay the full three hours. But I did already tell you guys that today's probably going to be mostly um, makeovers and then rooms. And that's what has happened. So at least I'm consistent. <laughs> Give her a little backpack. We'll give them both a little backpack. I feel like August would like the owl backpack. Going to lurk, getting ready to head to bed. I'm glad I was able to be here for a bit. I'm glad you were able to be here too, Essie. It was great seeing you. Um. Okay. What else can we put here? Yeah, clearly I'm not in a very big building mood today. <laughs> it's a miracle we've gotten as much done as we have. I guess we'll grab her, like, these little books. Maybe, like, a Kleenex. That's kind of, This is kind of my go-to for this kind of thing. I'm gonna delete this and give her a bigger lamp. See y'all in Discord, see you! She doesn't even need a lamp though, because she's got this lamp. That's okay, this doesn't need to be practical. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice lamp though. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what you said la to do last time. B, boom, there we go. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. Um, okay, and then over here we've got some craft supplies. In fact, I'm going to like rotate this a little bit. There, that looks a bit better. So we've got craft supplies. Let's, um, actually, no, uh, that, that'd be cruel. Persbeth has been waiting all night for me to talk about, like, Edith's future husband. And right as Persbeth leaves, I start talking about Edith's future husband. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before I do that. Um, we'll, uh, we'll keep decorating for a bit. Here, why don't we, we can give her some little cards. Like, it was her birthday, so we can give her some birthday cards. Once again, gonna see if the thing be suggested. Um... 
like a little bit more. Look at her big plant. I feel like she would also like plants. Well, you know what? She likes art. So she would probably like, like some art stuff. Because she's an art lover. Like, that's literally her trait. Um, is there like a pinky swatch of this? No, but you know what we could do? You know what we could do? Her mom can make her a bouquet and she can put it up here. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, Grace. So this is August. You, as you can see, he fell through the floor. Um, hi there. I'm new on your live stream. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, so this is August. He is... Um, He's cute. I, I, I'm sorry. He's not. He's, he's sitting in a position that's not easy for me to, like, let you get a look at him. There he is. There's my boy. So here's August. As you can see, he looks just like Oliver Chase. <laughs> um, you appreciate it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so, um, Lelito. Then what we're, we're just playing my legacy right now. So these are my next generation um, this is the spare. <laughs> he's not the heir. He's the spare. Um, but yeah, this, so here you go. So here, here, Grace is, he is adorable. I imagine that Misty knit him this little sweater. Um, and then Edith, where are you? Oh, she just finished. But did she load the, the dryer? Thank you. So cute. Your hat. Thank you. I love this hat. I'm a big fan of this hat. I mean, that's the term. <laughs> yeah. And then here's Edith. He is such a cutie. They're both cute. Um, but yeah, so she's got, she, she, we, we gave her a beret. She's also got a cute hat. Um, so she, um, so yeah, so let's get you, I know you need to work on your charisma skill and I just told you to start doing that, but you need to make an arrangement for your daughter's room. So let's see what all we can make. Yeah. I keep forgetting when trying to make plants that their mother is literally a florist. <laughs> The speckled pink would be nice and free. Dozen pink roses would be nice. Um, adorable. I love my grandkids. Yeah, I meant I had wanted to make it so that you would get your grandkids like <laughs> the like um, Orin and these two at the same time, but that didn't end up happening. Um, pink begonias would be pretty. Tulips, dark blush, ooh, violet frost, pink champagne, ooh, let's do pink champagne. You can chat if you want, Lolito, no, no, they're not gonna, no one's gonna stop you from chatting, unless you say something weird and rude, in which case we will stop you from chatting, we'll, ba we'll ban you, but, uh, but you're being nice so far, so I don't think that'll happen. You guys gonna hug? No. He's just talking. Oh, he's gonna have his dad's voice, isn't he? <laughs> he's gonna have all of. He's gonna be like Oliver Chase. It's five hours. He's gonna be like Oliver Chase, all the way down to the voice. Um. <laughs> Look at my children autonomously doing all the laundry. I love that for them. Okay, so you need to draw two pictures while inspired. Why don't you come over here then and browse art to get you inspired and then you can draw some pictures. Oh, right. We gotta sit down and then browse art. We gotta play three games of chess and read with an adult for two hours. Who are you? Darian Grant? Hello? You can get off my porch. I was joking before, but he really is Oliver 2.0. Sorry to make you uh, do your flower arranging in this musty old attic now, Misty. <laughs> I'll move it outside. I'll, I'll move both of them outside when it gets uh, when it gets a bit warmer. But just when it's cold. This is what you this is what you get for having twins. You know, one they both need their own rooms. Okay, so you've now got that. Let's go over here, draw, and cheeps. 
How are you, Soul Soli? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. How are you doing? I haven't gotten to stream for a while, so it's good to uh, it's good to be back. Dancing, cutie. Um, Oliver Chase. Do you want to read to your child? Or you know what? Let's actually have both of you come up and play chess. I know we've got a chess board around here somewhere. Um, is it out? Yeah, it's outside. Okay, here. Let's play with August Bragg. <laughs> we can see how... We can see them being exactly the same. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He is so, so cute. Ah. I want to get the columns in there. The son of Viola? Oh, oh <laughs> gosh, they're exactly the same! <laughs> Oh, you yawned. I thought you were going to sneeze. Yeah, I sneezed earlier. But, um... But no, I am quite tired, actually. So I'm probably not going to stay on for that much longer. Um, but when Persbeth gets... when Pers I'm probably going to stay on until Persbeth gets back, and then we'll talk about Edith's future husband. Um, and, uh, work on that. Oh, they're so cute. What? Oh, Persebeth! <laughs> Look at the timing! Hi! <laughs> yeah, Persebeth, earlier I was like, I guess I can talk to you guys about, um... Oh, you need to stargaze. I'm fine, thanks, can't complain. Yeah. Uh, go over here and moon gaze. I'm gonna cheat this. I'm gonna cheat this for you. There you go. Here, can you play with your mom? Oh, why don't you play with Edith instead? Although she actually can still now your English is fine don't worry about it let's get you to draw a vehicle but yeah so um so here's what we can talk about so let's now that first is back we can talk about uh Edith's future husband so I think I'm gonna go ahead and officially start accepting submissions as soon as I like like after today. Um, here, we can we can watch her as she works. Our sweet little girl. Um, originally I was going to wait until she was a teenager because I wasn't gonna have them meet until she was a young adult. But uh, I think I might want them to go to high school together. In which case, then I want I'm gonna need to you guys to start like now. Um, so, uh, yeah, we don't judge language ability. Don't worry. Sometimes it's, it, you can, you're doing a great job. Don't, don't even worry about it. Um, yeah, that's okay. Like I said, you're doing a great, you're, you're, you're doing a good, a great job with your English. So don't even worry about it. Um, and we, I typically don't like it when people use a different language in chat unless it's someone that I trust just because I don't know what you're saying and so you could be saying like really horrible stuff um but uh but it in but like if you're if you're talking in English then you're, you're doing a great job <laughs> so um but yeah okay so so with Edith then uh so here's kind of the um here's kind of the the, the deal and how things are going to go with her so I was going to ask you guys what course of action you would prefer because, oh gosh, hi. Last recess, no one to play with me. I just climbed around my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask other kids if you can join in. Um, collectible moon print. Is it, is it the one? I don't think so. Cause we would have, we would have gotten a little thing, but no, that's not the one. Time to make a goth boy teenager. <laughs> well, Edith is gonna ha Edith's husband is gonna have um have some kind of specific things going on with him, but uh to kind of like get get back to what I was saying before, um, so she is no one wants to play with this suit kid poor thing, you would think they would just 
because they know that the party favors at his birthday are going to be awesome. Um, I was friends with the rich girl in elementary school. <laughs> I was friends with the rich girl in elementary school, and she gave Webkins every party favor had a Webkins in it. And, um, and we got, got picked up in a limo, like a limo came to our houses and picked us up and brought us to like a jumpy castle place. And it was really good. <laughs> it was, it was a, it was a good birthday party. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Misty, can you read to them? No, not purchase, not purchase. My bad. Let's read the first unicorn to the children. Wow, you were friends with a legit rich, rich kid. Yeah, it, like, like she had a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, a limo. And I, 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 uh, may, must, may I repeat, a Webkins in every gift bag. Not a younger guy. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I assumed you weren't. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, I mean, I mainly just curse and we talk about being gay and that's, that's the main part, the main things we do here. <laughs> but I prefer, I, I'm, I would just rather make it abundantly clear. I don't even, um, okay. Are the children coming? Yes, the children are coming. Let's go. Um, Okay. I keep getting distracted. We need to talk about we need to talk about Edith's husband. Okay, so I was going to give you guys the option to help me decide. Um to like have me to help me decide like how Edith was gonna end up becoming a Somalia because she's going to be a because she is going to be a Somalia. And I was like, this is kind of a weird thing for um oh. Okay, let me really quickly go ahead and assign another book because that was super quick. Um, but, uh, what are you doing? Oh my god, please stop. Um, what is happening? Oh, she's reading on that. Oh, that's, that's actually really cute. That's actually a really cute screenshot. Come on, give me, give me it. Give me the last one. Give me the last one I need. I just need one more. I just need one more. A sommelier um, player. Basically, that's someone who is really, really knowledgeable about wine. Like, fancy wine. Um... So, like, if you go on a cruise or go to a fancy hotel or a fancy restaurant, then they might have a sommelier come to your table and tell you and, like, try and sell you uh, wine. Um, gosh, they're so cute. Um, but, yeah, so she's going to be a sommelier. And, um, oh, hello. God, can I please talk for, like, three seconds without getting interrupted? Um... But that's kind of a weird path for, I, f that, I figured that was kind of a weird path for, like, a child to go down. Um, oh gosh, you both are, it's so, it's so late, both of you are hungry. I'm just gonna, here, I'm, I got you, I got you. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna put both of them to bed. This is your bed, assign bed. This is August, Let's go to sleep. You, assign bed. This is Edith's, go to sleep. Okay, cool. You're so fun to be around. Cute. I respect if you all have rich child on your games. Uh, I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Spend more time. Um. Yeah, brag. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> Um, okay, let me, let me just, let me just set them all up so they're all fine. You come over here and get some leftovers. I'm gonna have you keep going. You, yeah, but you get leftovers and then you go to bed. Um... 
You can't even see him because he's underneath the pillow. You can see like a little tiny bit of his hair. <laughs> That's what happens with the CC bed. So like I knew that was coming. Lamal, love a sad boy. Okay, time to see if I, uh, if I have to get attached to a new idea for my submission. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get to it. Let me. Let me just turn on on. No, that's not if it's too. I'll turn on all lights. Oh my god, all lights. This room. <laughs> Auto lights. This room. Auto lights. This room. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, ye Got another moon print. Oliver Chase, I'd be okay if you interrupted me by completing this stupid collection. Six and from the moon. We've already seen that one. Um, okay. But yeah, so she's going... So but so what I was... So what I was trying to say is... Um, clearly, she... It's, it's kind of a weird path for, like, a teenager to go down. Uh, to want to be a... That is such a childhood mood. Um, it's a kind of a weird thing for a child a child to want to do... Or a teenager to want to do. Is to be a sommelier. Um, so I was like, okay, there are two options for how to potentially get there. And I was going to give you guys the option. Like, like, leave it up to you guys. And the first option was just that she's rich. And her parents drink wine. And so she becomes interested in it. But the second idea was that she goes through a rebellious phase. And she gets interested in booze in general, like, quite early on into her teens, because she drinks it. Um, and then later on, she, get, she gets introduced to the classier stuff. And, and that's when she starts wanting to be a sommelier. So I was going to leave that, guy, that up to you guys, which way you wanted me to go. Um, but then I started thinking about Edith's rebellious face, and now, we're, now Edith is going through a rebellious face. So she's going to be drinking. <laughs> so she's going to be drinking a lot. Um, when she, right as she ages up into a teenager. So her glow up is going to be, uh, I mean, the, I mean, the, the, the rebellion option is a mix of both. Is, that's kind of the thing. Um, basically one just skips a step. Um, ah, yes, Reyna. <laughs> yeah, I guess she is kind of like Reyna in that way. Um, but she's gonna get to be like really quick. Mac eyeliner. <laughs> We're not. I'm not putting the Mac eyeliner on her. I can't do that. But yeah. So my idea is that she's gonna go through a rebellious phase. Um, like she's gonna throw parties and stuff when she becomes like when she's like early teen. Um, she's going to start doing mixology at that point. Um, like start working on her skill doing like not fancy drinks. And then she's going to become introduced to fancy drinks as time goes on. Um, and again, then, yeah, so, and that's how she's going to eventually decide to become a sommelier. And then she's going to have a really, really awesome kind of, like, she's not going to be goth. She's going to be punk. Um, she's going to have a really, really awesome, like, punk but also kind of preppy look when she gets her glow up. And I've already got the hair that I know I want to give her. And I am so excited. Um, <laughs> so that's what, so that's how it's going to go. And so I kind of liked the idea of her future husband knowing her in high school and knowing this kind of like party side of her. Um, actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to have you keep going. Um, and knowing this like party size of her side of her, um, and so then when she moves to Tartosa, where he lives, and is, like, a boss bitch, and that kind of, and, like, all, cl trying to be all classy and stuff, then he's just, like, I know, he's just, like, I've lo I literally saw you passed out on the floor drunk in high school. You can't fool me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, right, so, so, I'm, in I am talking about Edith, who is right here. And how she's, and what she's going to be like when she grows up. Um, but Reyna is one of Grace's sims. Look how cute she is. Look at how cute she is. She's so cute. Um, yeah, Reyna was one of Grace's heirs. Um, oh, so like a, an heir of Grace's legacy challenge. We all share our legacy challenges. So we all, we all know our, all, everyone else's heirs. Um, but yeah, so I liked the idea of maybe uh, the Thebe that she ends up marrying 
Um, like, she's trying to be all classy and stuff on Tartosa, and he's just like, I saw you pass out in a pool of your own vomit in high school. You can't fool me. <laughs> saw you puke in a hat instead of the toilet you were sitting next to. There's no dignity left here. <laughs> yeah, so, like, but, like, he doesn't, like, the way that the way that it kind of that they kind of get to that point doesn't have to be exactly like that but they also are going to have a one night stand and that's how the next heir is going to be born so <laughs> yeah of course of course uh let me make sure yeah lolito yeah of course lolito um but uh but they, yeah they're going to have a one night stand they're going to eventually also fall in love so like like that's not that's not the not going to be the end of it but, um, but I, I figured that that would be an appropriate dynamic for the two of them to have. So because of that, then, uh, I will be, uh, this actually fits well into my idea for the air so far. Well, perfect. Cause that nothing else has really changed. Um, the air is, so the, um, so Edith's husband is going to be a part of the Thebe family or in most, um, in most save files, they're the Lawrence uh, the Laurent family in Tartosa. Um, they are basically the super rich family from my wedding stories. Um, I changed the last name to Thebe because I like it. I like the name Thebe better than Laurent. So that's, that, that, that's, it's not deep. Um, but, uh, so he's going to be the son of Hector and Hillary Laurent. So in terms of what he can look like, you don't need to like just combine their genetics and only use a child that comes from their combined genetics. Like if you want, you can, you can, like, shift around the way he looks a bit, but he does have to look like he's part of their family. Um. Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, look at him. He's playing with his dolls. Um. But, yeah. So, that's, that's really the, uh, the only. So, that's kind of it, and I, I don't have any idea of, I don't have any idea of, like, um. Of, of, of like a job for him or anything but uh you guys can see which jobs are available look at her and her adorable little like she's so freaking cute i love her so much um but uh yeah so i don't have any idea for like like a job that he has or anything or even really anything about his personality um you guys are totally free to do whatever the heck you want um but that is that that is the vibe uh that i am thinking and i will of course put all of this in the discord server on the spouse submissions tab you i need you to come over here really quick and sit with oh shoot we need the blue belt oh excuse me <laughs> Give me the bluebells. Sent with. Ah. Sent with. Bluebell. Um. Hi, Aurelius. Hi, baby. Okay, let's put that in your inventory and then we'll have it on her dresser for when she gets home. But yeah, so everything that I just said, by the way, is going to go on, um, it, uh, it is going to go on, um, the Discord server. So you guys can keep an eye out and, uh, start sending me submissions. And, uh, all you gotta do is just send, send him to me as a team. So, go by yourself. All you gotta do is, uh, send him to me as a team, and then I'll just put him in the family. Uh, a case of him being feel like they all went out of his family, or he thinks being the caregiver of his younger sibling, believing it's below him. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you guys can do kind of whatever you want. Alright, get out there, Oliver. Go earn us a bajillion dollars. What are we at? 247? Okay. Oh my gosh! Did- you just finished? That was just it? Like, <laughs> Oh yeah, and upload them under Soul Soulie, of course. Oh 
please give them time to breathe. <laughs> please, Prince of Earth, it's too fast. <laughs> well, you just said he was uploaded. Oh, upload it to the gallery. You're, you were saying in general, upload them with this hashtag. Yes, you are, you are correct. Yeah, that's right. That is correct. I was to be like, person, how did you do that? Uh, my bad, that was poor phrasing. That's okay. Um, I think I am done for the day though. Um, so I am going to save. Oh, we actually had a, have a pretty decent number of people in the, uh, we actually had a, in the stream today. But, uh, I don't really see anybody that I necessarily want to raid. One of my, one of the people I'm following is playing Cult of the Lamb, if you're here, Ogi. Um, so I think that I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, the only way I'd really be that fast is if I was just doing a chat again, which I'm not. You can don't you can't do that to me again, first of all. You can't do that to me again. Yeah, I'm fine, Lolito. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Um, I was just I was just surprised. I was like, the devil works fast, but Persebeth works faster. Um, it's okay. Now he can be player one, just like B is B one. <laughs> Let's really quickly actually. Can we play this? No beam. Dang it, we can't. Dang, ah. Oh man, B, I was ready to prove you wrong, but I did not. Okay, all right. I am going to save and quit, but uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Um, the beret has kind of has kind of shifted a bit, um, but I guess that's okay. But thanks for hanging out with me today. This was fun. Um, it's good to be back. Uh, it seems like there aren't any glitches or anything. Actually, let's check that really quick. Have there been has there been a significant increase in any of your lifespans? No, we are good. We're good. We're good. No, no significant aging. Um, I would be genuinely shocked if the piano worked. I will. I can get it. I can make it. I'll make it work. I can figure it out. I might just need to get rid of the curtain. I'll figure it out. Um. Um. But yeah, so I'm going to go. Thank you guys for hanging out. I don't know when I'll be able to play again. Later this, I'm taking care of my mom this week a lot. Um, because like I said in the Discord server, she got out of surgery. Um, and then I'm doing a really big babysitting job this weekend. So I definitely won't be able to just dream then. Um, but uh, I will try and be back as soon as I can. And um, yeah, in the meantime... I, I can, we can, I'll, I'll figure it out, B. I'll figure it out. I don't need your sass, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, in the, in the meantime, then work on your submissions. Like I said, I'll make a formal post. Um, it was nice to meet you, Lolito. It was good to, good to meet you. Um, but yeah, I'll make a formal post in the Discord server so that, um, you guys can see all of the criteria and uh, I look forward to seeing your submissions. So I will see all, all you guys later. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.